Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. I hope you are all okay. Um, I am probably currently melting. It's very hot here um, in the UK, it has been a week. Um, and it's very humid and hot today. So I'm in the craft room, but I probably will disappear to the closest fan where I can find it soon. <laughs> I haven't got my fan on for this video because you'll just hear the noise. So um, yes, hope you're all doing okay. Stay safe in the sun if it's very hot and sunny where you are. Um, so yeah, sorry about last weekend where I was poorly and then posted a video to say I was poorly, but posted the video privately. And then I did you a little update. I think it was on Tuesday, wasn't it? With um, a bit of Yarny delivery that arrived. Um, so yeah, apologies, but my nose was streaming and nobody would have wanted to have seen that. Um, so yes, so we decided not to do a video at the weekend, but seemed to feel much better. Got myself some more hay fever medication. Hopefully that was what it was and can keep it at bay now. Um, so I thought I would show you, what am I going to show you in this video? I think I'll do a work in progress video on this one. Um, and then I'll show you my haul on another one just to keep them nice and short for you. So it's not one big long video. Um, but welcome to any new subscribers. I am Michelle and this is Shell Star Stitches. All things crochet. Well, I do other stitchy, stitchy hobbies like sewing, etc. But we're predominantly crochet at the moment. My my love at the moment. All my craft supplies. Um, one of the comments was somebody enjoyed seeing the craft room again. So here we are. You can see all my storage boxes. Um, my Hogwarts Lego castle over this side with my queen. Um, queen doll there that I made on a little doll stand so yeah we thought we'd come up in the craft room again today um so yes work in progress wise um I have finished uh what I was working on for the last sort of couple of weeks um that I was showing you which was Duke the Mallard and I've started a new project already um but it is one I've done before so um I know my dad won't watch these and also it's Father's Day tomorrow so I had already showed you Dave the seagull that we have made for him for Father's Day because my dad likes bird watching, ornithologist. Um, and we made him Desmond the blue tit either last year or the year before. Um, so he's got a Dave the seagull as um, I am from Brighton Hove. I don't, I live a bit further along the coast in Worthing, but um, yeah, we are by the sea and seagulls are notorious in Brighton Hove. So that's Dave that we've seen before. And here we go, we have finished. Duke the Mallard Duck. Wah, wah. He's got his little tail up back there. Um, I kind of feel like I need to... I don't quite know how his beak's supposed to go, but it's a long, big, long, big beak. There he is with his eyes. So he's got a bit of chestnut brown there. Um, silver, orange paddly feet. And a little, little charcoal tail at the back there. So yeah, so that's um, Father's Day present for my dad. So we've got... Those two, let's sit them on Michelle's shoulder next to Michelle's head so we can get size comparison wise. Um, that's how big they are, sat next to me or next to my head. <laughs> so yeah, so hopefully he'll be pleased with those. I need to sort of wrap them up um, to give to him tomorrow. So he's got another two for his collection and with the paddly feet. Um, I think they kind of will sit. So where he's gonna have them placed, they'll, they'll sit. So that's cool. So that is now finally finished in the nick of time for Father's Day tomorrow, Sunday the 18th, no, Sunday the 19th, it's the 18th today. And um, so my, I found as I was going through one of the, I've got a Kalex unit here that you can't see, um, in one of those, I found that I had a, I believe this is a Sheepies, Shapies, I'm never sure how you say that. Um, I think this is a fine art well, um, I can't recall, the label's downstairs now, but um so it's like a merino blend um it's kind of see the thick i mean that's not really gonna help you with the thickness but it says to use a five mil crochet i think between a four to four and a half to five mil so i've gone for five um so i found that which i've started to use this is not all the color we're now getting to the central dark portion so i have started to make here um i'm going for the tobermory shawl again that i did in toft um, which was my advent yarns, if you saw that, the multicoloured shawl that I did. Um, so I'm going for the same style because I found that really easy and worked out really quick. Um, so this is the gradient so far, if you can see, we've got obviously like 
very light blue down at the bottom and we're starting to get darker as we go up. Um, so that was all last night's progress. So I only started it last night about nine o'clock at night. So as you can see, because you can't see me, um, excuse me, Sniffy, it works up quite well and quite quickly. So I'm going to carry on. I think I did this on, on my shawl with my Advent yarns because I wanted to use up all the yarn. I just carried on going past where the pattern said to stop. So I think I'm going to do the same here because... I don't know, I feel like I'm halfway through that ball, but I don't don't really know. And obviously to me, that's not very surely. We're at the headscarf stage again that I like to show. We're not quite at shawl, to me, shawl. I think they did it as like a, that's more of like a cowboy, isn't it? Cowboy type shawl. So that is where we're up to on that. Um, so I'm gonna carry on with that. And hopefully I might be finished by tomorrow evening. Um, Cause I was actually planning on making this for my nan um and sending it down to her because she's now moved into a care home so i thought that might be quite nice for as we get to sort of late summer if it gets um hot in the daytime and cooler in the evenings they've got like an outside patio and pond and things so i thought she might appreciate that and she might quite like that so it's something i can send in the post as well that um will go relatively easily in a jiffy bag so yeah and it's really nice and soft so that um, um, is where I'm at at the moment because I just picked that in the meantime um, to keep me going because I have got kits and stuff I want to start but um, I think I mentioned before I'm booked into Kew Gardens which is Toft have done a flower monster workshop at Kew Gardens and it's this Wednesday coming the 22nd um, so I am going to that booked on <sighs> there are now train strikes everywhere um, but the train strikes aren't actually on the 22nd. They're on the days surrounding the 22nd. So I think basically the, the train companies have picked the busiest days for commuters to get into London. Um, I don't seem to have a problem on my Southern Rail at the moment. They're not on strike on the same days or at all. Um, and that's why how I'm going to have to travel up to get to Kew Gardens. But obviously I've got connecting trains. I think I've got to change at Clapham Junction. Um, so I'm hopeful I'm going to get up there on Wednesday without a problem. Um, I was due to leave about half seven in the morning, I think. So I am even debating trying to leave at half past six. Um, but I'm going to need to keep checking the service right up until I go in case they do like Sunday service or something. Um, so we'll see. I'm hoping I get up there in time for 10.30 and I'm hoping I do actually make it. But I think there's quite a lot of us now that have booked that are relying on train service to get us there and now might have some issues. So... So yeah, that's the reason I didn't pick an actual sort of separate project like that to do because I knew I was going to start the Flower Monster in the course on Wednesday in the workshop and then I'll probably want to finish it and carry on um, for the rest of the week until it's done. Because um, as you know, I'm a serial finisher to get these projects done. Um, so yeah, so I'll let you know. I will try and, in the stress of getting up there, try and do a bit of a video and try and capture some of it um during the day if i can for you guys so then at least you can have a look at a video next week hopefully with maybe a couple of bits and bobs um if i can do some videos etc um snippets but yeah so that's current work in progress is done and what i'm currently on um this was not obviously if you saw my yarn haul from the week this was not from that yarn haul this was as i say one i found in the cupboard but i think that might be the plan with um some of those cakes like this one no, the self, it's not self striping, self gradient, self ombre, um, is to do maybe give some shawls a go. But yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, as always, have a good week. Um, take care, and I will catch you next time. Bye.